Now to an inspiring story with an important lesson for all of us. Nobody likes thinking about the unexpected when your life and finances could change in an instant. Our friend and colleague Sharon Epperson was faced with exactly that situation a year ago. Fortunately, she did plan ahead, and this is her incredible story. Reporting on how to manage, grow, and protect your money is what I do. The bottom line is you probably need to be saving more than you're saving right now. Planning for the unexpected is critical. That I know, because it happened to me. The day started like many others, making sure my son and daughter got off to school and coordinating schedules with my husband. Then I went to exercise before heading to the studio. I lifted some weights, started stretching. Suddenly, I felt incredible pain, the worst headache of my life. The rest of the day became a blur of doctors, hospitals, emergency rooms. Scans and images revealed bleeding in my brain. A bulge in the wall of a main artery there had burst. It was a ruptured brain aneurysm. The doctors have told me that she could lose her life or the things that make life worth living. And of those two, I don't know really which is worse. Surgery was just the beginning. I spent two weeks in intensive care, followed by long days of rehabilitation. And ready for my recovery. Relearning how to keep my balance and walk upstairs. From caregiver to being cared for, my recovery was more demanding than we ever expected. So suddenly you're immersed in this medical frenzy of making choices that could define your life and your family and your future. And getting back up to speed on running my family's finances took time. Thankfully, I had planned ahead, something financial advisor Stacy Francis says many fail to do. The number one reason for bankruptcy is actually medically related. So if you're not preparing, you could be putting yourself in a disastrous situation of having to use credit card debt, even going into your retirement plan. Ample emergency savings and disability insurance helped pay the bills while I was out of work and is why preparing for the unexpected is something all of us need to do. Make sure that you have at least three to six months of your living expenses. The next thing, look at your disability insurance. Does that pay you enough that your financial situation would still be comfortable and secure? And finally, make sure that your estate planning is updated. The steps I took before my brain injury allowed me to spend time with loved ones instead of worrying about money. My family and friends helped me get stronger, encouraged me to walk farther, and cheered me on as I reached another milestone in my recovery, finishing my first ever 5K race. This was the first race she'd ever done. And the fact that she'd prepared for it through illness, well, that was sort of an, an amazing moment. Well, we're glad to have you back. I'm glad to we, be here. We miss you. What was it like finishing that race? Yeah. That race was incredible because my husband was there, my kids were there with me, and some of my dearest friends, and we were all running to support the Brain Aneurysm Foundation and running to show that I was celebrating life and exactly. celebrating life with my loved ones. Exactly. But your experience is so incredible, and we've missed you so much, Sharon. Okay. And I'll try not to cry, <laughs> but you really showed us how you have to plan but it's difficult to know how much you need, the guidelines of, of how you go into long-term disability insurance and all of the other things that you had managed to plan for. Yeah, disability insurance is critical, was critical for me. And you can get it through your job, usually 40 to 60% of your salary will be covered by disability payments. Mm -hmm. And that's great, that helps. But you may even wanna buy a private disability insurance policy to cover even more. It'll never get to 100%, but it really will help when you're unable to work and get those paychecks. I've always heard those statistics that at, at any given age, you are far more likely to have a disabling event, as I did earlier this year mm -hmm. when I had some mm -hmm. nose surgery, as, as you did, than to die. Exactly, uh, we've said that so many times to our audience, and now it happened to me. And it is so true. And yet people dismiss disability. So, so how did your estate plan help in all of this? So I was unconscious at the beginning. I could not make the medical decisions that were necessary for right. the emergency care. My health care proxy did that. I was not able to make financial decisions. My health care proxy did that. My husband is my health care proxy. The successor is my sister. And they worked together in making all those decisions when I, was, when I couldn't do it. 
Well, you are an inspiration thank on you. so many different levels. I've been inspired by so many along this journey. And so. thank you for sharing that for us, Sharon Thank you. Everson. All right. Thank and you. to read more about Sharon's story, uh, head right over to our website, nbr.com.